Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. Um, today we'll be talking about clearing the serial communication. If you look at the first entry, you'll see that this area is corrupt. Um, it almost seems like it, it, it missed um, some messages here, um, quite a few. So what do we do? So um, in case if you are not familiar with what I'm doing, essentially, um, if, if you didn't watch the previous video, essentially what I'm doing here is uh, I am using Arduino. Um, so this Arduino is sending um, this message via the serial port and the, I am capturing it with a C sharp program. So the issue is when I run uh, the C sharp program, the, typically the first message gets corrupted somehow um, so we will try to fix that because nobody wants a corrupt uh, message for their data you know so how do we fix that um, the way I I decided to take care of this is by adding an if statement here so So if I say if so so let's say if count is zero go ahead and count up and what I what I just did do is um, I discard the in buffer. Um, this is because it will give me a, a fresh um, serial read the next time my C sharp. Alright, uh, let me come back. Okay, so just with adding this line of you know, few lines of code. I, you know, this is just just by adding this. Now I can remove anything that is in the buffer before I start to read the serial port, and every other thing that I'll be reading here, every other thing that I'll be reading here, and as well as here, will actually be a fresh, um, brand new. Um, read line from the Arduino from the serial port from here. So let's go ahead and run the program again. Here we go. So we are getting all the messages that we are supposed to get. And if you notice here, we started at two, and this is because I have this here. So let's go ahead and move this down here. Let's run it again to show you that. Okay, now it starts at one and it does not miss any message. Everything is coming in, everyone is happy. And yeah, so that's that's essentially it. So that's how I thought about fixing it. Um, there could be a better way or an easier way, but um, it works pretty well now, you know, no messages are being missed now. So I can run it again, run it a few times, and we are good, we are good. Alright, run it a couple more times. Alright, so everything is working good. So in case if you're not sure what's going on here, so essentially we are declaring the same COM port as the Arduino. So Arduino is plugging COM port 6. So we're using the same COM port, the same baud rate. And we are using C-Shop program to initialize the serial port class. We use the C-Shop class event handler to trigger a method. This method here, whenever the serial port class um, sees a message from the Arduino, 
so then right here we are opening it initializing it well we initialize it here then we are opening the studio port and um, whenever you press the keyboard it will close the serial port and over on this on this method this method is constantly triggering whenever Arduino sends or prints this line of code or prints this message or communicates this message so this this method will run so it's constantly listening to it so obviously this part will run once the first time to discard uh, whatever leftover message in the buffer then the next the next you know run will now hit here and go over here and just continuously display whatever the Arduino is is um, saying and that's it um, I just wanted to show this real quick because we were seeing um, we were seeing the first message being corrupted from the previous video and I thought about you know fixing it or uh, finding some kind of hack this could be a hack to to get over it uh, to just so we are not seeing the first message being corrupted so yeah hope this was helpful I believe we will call it a day I will um, talk to you later let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below all right so don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you later bye bye